And so I fought really hard. Um, it was not an easy decision. You know, it was only like, a, it could have gone either way. I could have easily stayed at school because I loved school. Um, but I thought that I would uh, learn more and have more fun and be around smarter people if I, if I dropped out. And I've, I've learned then and since that it's a safe way to make career decisions is always just pick the option where you will be with the smartest people doing the most interesting work. Um, and so I thought, you know, in the worst case, I can just go back to school if this doesn't work out. Um, and I wanted to like take a risk and try something new. Just I was, you know, when I woke up in the mornings, I was thinking about the project, not not school. And I think like, I, I think the test of what you think about when you wake up is always a, a good way to figure out what you're actually interested in doing. <laughs> do you recommend uh, what do you recommend for young students who want to become entrepreneurs uh, 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 to focus on one domain or uh, uh, to become well rounded and, uh, and and if you recommend them to focus on one domain, what is this domain? That's a great question. Um, my I think the answer to that is a little bit of a hybrid of both. Um, what you want to do first is try to become knowledgeable about a lot of different things so that you can figure out where the biggest opportunities in the world are and what you're interested in. What you, what you want to figure out is like the intersection of um, what you're interested in, what you're good at, and what the world really needs. And usually to find that intersection, because that, that's where you can create a lot of value. Um, and that's where you can do something that will be personally fulfilling. But to find that intersection usually takes a pretty broad survey of the world. So. Early on in my studies, I learned a lot about everything, or a little about everything. And then as I began to figure out where my interests were, I'd become narrower and narrower and narrower ever since. And I think this is a really good path, just to start very broad, try to learn a little about a lot of things. And then as you start to figure out where that intersection of those three topics is, um, ignore everything else and go super deep there. All right, I can probably do one more question when I got rental meeting. Hey. Uh, can you tell us a story to, sh to show uh, uh, the group here the importance of uh, integrity and uh, values, like moral values that or ethics that should be in every startup or every project? Sure. Um, so there was a startup, I won't name the startup because they're still, uh, they're still in the middle of a very complicated thing, but it's a, a very valuable startup, it's worth many billions of dollars. Um, they, er, earlier on, um, I had offered to invest in the company, this is maybe seven years ago, um, and they had, I think, an honest mistake on their part, but they had two different founders had accepted two different offers at once, and they weren't sure what to do. Um, I was more powerful than the other investor, and so even though they had accepted the other investors' offers first. Um, they were planning to go with my offer because they didn't want to piss me off. And once I learned that was a thing, I said, hey guys, look, I, you know, that would not be the ethical thing to do. You shouldn't do it. I won't be mad. This was an honest mistake. Um, just go off and um, take the other investors' offer and I will just pass on this. And I knew the company was going to be really valuable, so I was sad about that, but I thought it was just the right thing to do. So um, they did that, and um, I, I felt strongly it was the right thing to do. Years later, they said, hey, we remember that, we were so impressed by you doing the right thing and telling us to do the right thing, that we're just gonna give you a big gift. And they gave me like half a percent of stock in the company, which is now worth like a giant amount of money. And um, it doesn't always work out that way, but I find more often than not, if you act with integrity and do the right thing, uh, the startup world is really good about rewarding that. Thank you. Anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't talk for longer, but uh, it was really nice meeting all of you.